Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Spastix. I like to post uh, videos on YouTube with gaming and all that. Um, most of you are familiar with my Spring Commander videos. Those were pretty epic, I will admit that. Uh, today, we're in the world of DayZ. Uh, here, this is the range. Um, it is a multiplayer map that I got from a buddy. And it has all the games, or excuse me, all the weapons in the game, as well as Arma, Arma 2 and all that. Uh, good thing about this range is that you can set your targets to distance, you can set them to uh, a few different targets, such as steel plates, soldiers, tanks, you can send a helicopter in, test your skills, test your accuracy, and so on and so forth. Other features is a bullet projectile to follow your bullet. I'll do an example right here at 400 meters from the, the infield. There you go. Let's try that one more time just to knock him down. You getcha? Oh, that's right. So, today, uh, in the world of Daisy, we're going to test a... Actually, we're going to do a gun versus gun. This would be a AKM versus a Lee Enfield, which is the rifle I have right here. Very nice rifle, I will admit. I actually love this rifle. Starting off in the game, I always look for a Lee Enfield first. And I'll show you a AKM here. So let's list the features of the AKM and the Lee Enfield. First, we'll start with the AKM. Good features is that you have 30 round clips, and you can set those uh, rounds to shoot semi or full automatic. I really prefer the semi because just back control, uh, full auto kind of goes upwards when you pull down the trigger. And uh, let's set this target to 100 meters. Alright, Soldier is set to 100 meters, and we're going to be doing this from the crouch position first. Uh, actually, I'd rather let's do this from the standing up position, just to test out accuracy. I'm going to shoot, you know, let's make this a real, uh, like a veteran scenario, Daisy, where you have to look down the sights. Looking down the sights, I'm going to aim at the guy's body, let's see how accurate it is. And it almost, accuracy also depends on the user, so I will look. I'll move that out. But as you can see, I'm aiming for the body. See how much shots it takes. That was look like a headshot, so I'm gonna aim a little lower. Just to see. Alright, that was a shoulder, so he took one hit. A little lower. Same spot. Alright, chest shot. And it takes about two. Let's do a few more shots here. That was directly in the chest. Probably in the heart. Well, see if we can hit the same spot. So we can confirm that it takes about two. Ooh, I would fall if that hit my balls too. Shoulder. Shoulder again, probably in the face. In the face. So this is at uh, this is without zeroing in. Uh, this target here is 100 meters, so we're going to zero in to 100 meters by pressing page down. Uh, if you press page up, you increase it to you know up to 100 or 800, excuse me. And let's go back to 100 since this is a 100 meter target. Zooming in, uh, same for the face. I don't know how he didn't die. Again. Uh, his right shoulder. Let's aim at the right shoulder again. Ooh, missed. Alright, so we can confirm that it takes uh, at most probably two shots to kill a guy here. And let's switch to the lean in field. Up uh, first. We gotta go through the crash, don't we? Yes we do. Yeah, that's right where I aimed at. 
his left, or excuse me, right shoulder. Shot it again. Chest shot, heart. That looked like it was in his right shoulder. And from the prone position. This gun is pretty reliable, I will not doubt that. 100 meters, pretty deadly. Okay, so, that's zeroing in. 100 meters. That's one of the good features about this AKM is that you can zero in. Sights are pretty good. I like how there's a little tiny uh, uh, sight in the barrel. Get pretty good headshots. <laughs> Alright, switch to the uh, lean infield, see how it, that does. Alright, so we got the lean infield. I'm going to try the sucker standing up about 100 meters away. Should be pretty easy to shoot without zeroing in. Uh, zeroing in to me would be just kind of zooming in. So, taking a headshot here if I can. And that was a shoulder shot that took him out with one hit. Let's try that again. Lower, see if it takes. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so one hit kills usually. Now let's zoom in a little bit. See the target a little better. Chest shot, one hit kill. Cross position. Same story. Pretty accurate weapon. A uh, hundred meters. Let's go straight to the prone up with one bullet left. Yeah, pretty accurate. Alright, this is what we like to call max distance with a non scope weapon. Uh, some players may disagree with this, but I put at my max distance at 400 meters. Um, where I can confidently shoot a, a weapon and hit my target. The right now the soldier is set as 400 meters. I have the AKM here. I'm going to zero in to 400 meters, and I'm going to aim down the sights, zoom in, and see if I can hit this guy. He's really he looks like a tree in the background. I can see him barely. I'm going to aim at his body and see where it hits him at. Good shot. Good shot. First try. All right. Try this one again. Wait for you to get dead center. And I don't want to hit kill, even though it looked like I hit in the face. Okay, so he's taking two hits so far. That was just a miss. Alright, so three hits to knock him down. This is from the cross position. Uh, standing up, probably going to be the same story. I may just pull that, all. pull that out. There is a little more movement. Yeah, I can definitely tell that was a miss. A little more difficult standing up, and especially at 400 meters. Bullet does ricochet, and I will confirm that if you hit a guy, you can hit a guy with a ricocheted bullet. Alright, so it's a little difficult to hit him with standing it up. It's a little better crouch. I'm having real trouble hitting this guy at 400 meters with an AKM. Proning, stabilize. Uh, I should be able to hit him pretty good. 400 meters, then then zeroed.
All right, let's try the land field. All right, uh, where am I at here? Land field, 400 meters. No zeroing, so you have to kind of have to guess your hit here. So far, one shot kills. All right, crouched. A little more stable. Not much. And I'm gonna say one hit kill so far, 400 meters. But I have hit people before and take two. I knew that was gonna be a miss. All right, Here in a little bit. And <coughs> all right, so you have right there. You didn't die on the first hit. There you go, two hits. And proning, a little more stable. Again, I'm going to re reinstate that uh, 400 meters is if I can distance the guy. Measure distance. I usually shoot at 400 oh. meters to the max with a non-scope weapon. Any more than that, and I'm just missing and it's kind of like shooting a needle. And the reason why I am doing this here is it's up to you what to choose. ACAM is good for urban warfare. If you're in a area like Cherno or Electro or anywhere else that has a lot of towns or a lot of buildings, um, AKM, yeah, I would prefer that over a land field. But uh, if you're out in some place like this, you have a whole bunch of open land, you're in the trees, you're hitting deer stands, you're hitting farms. Um, I would definitely go with Lee Enfield. Uh, some people may just go with AKM. And that's totally awesome. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, but here at the range we'll do some more uh, uh, guns. See which is like the best pistol to use the best uh, assault rifle it is. Maybe uh, bash some theories. But yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>